So in this session, I'm going to show you how to create an EC2 instance with the help of AWS Cloud Formation. So, so for this, you have to move to your AWS Management Console. Go to your AWS Management Console with your uh, username and password or credentials. It's okay. Actually, the uh, AWS Cloud Formation which is the replacement of manual steps which is followed for launching EC2 instance. So what happens is if you want to launch any EC2 instance, we need to follow some seven steps manually to launch an instance. So without using seven steps, we can we can able to launch a EC2 machine. So before that, I will tell you. So go to EC2 dashboard. Go to this dashboard. So you can able to see what are the instance which is running. So go to the instance part. So currently there is no instance which is running. What we are going to do is I'm going to create this instance without following the manual seven steps. So with the help of load formation, I'm going to create here easy to machines. So for that I'm going to take the AWS cloud formation template tutorial. So the tutorial which is available uh, in the documentation itself, I'm going to use this documentation for the experimentation purpose. Okay, so just to click on the service named as Cloud Formation. Cloud Formation is the first thing is you need to create one stack. Click on this option, create stack. So there are uh, three options it is displaying. Template is busy, ready, and use a sample template or template from the designer. And uh, so here, what we are going to do is we are going to take this uh, sample template. Okay, this template is already exist in the documentation here. So I, I'll tell you what the changes you have to do. Okay, just to copy this template and paste it in Notepad. Notepad. So take this in notepad and here you need to do few changes. I'll tell you what the changes you have to do. This AMI ID and this key which is available, which may not be, uh, may not work fine. So you need to change these two image ID as well as the key. Okay, for that what I should do is, so we just to duplicate this tab once and go to these two panel once. Go to this easy to panel. Okay, go to instances. I am now going to launch the instance. I need to get the image ID. Okay, so I just taught the old experience. Okay, so here the thing uh, which is important is that the, the image ID. The image ID is simply nothing but it is your easy to instance ID. Okay, so I am just deleting this image ID which is available in Excel. So I just copy this image ID because it is the free version. Okay, because it is a free child, it will copy this image ID. This machine is the Linux machine. Okay, copy this and instead of this, delete it and paste your new machine. Okay, and at the same time, the key value, key name is also very important. So go to your uh, uh, EC2 once again. Go to your EC2. So in this panel itself, you can able to know your keys. Okay, there is a key pass which is available, right? Okay, so I already have some key pass. If you have a key pair, you can use the same key pair. If not, what have, what you want to do? What you should do is you need to create a new key, right? I have the key pair M1, M2, machine one, machine two, right? You can take any key pair. So I'm taking the first keeper as YAML. Okay, so just to replace this test key as YAML. Okay, that's all. We have done every configuration. The meaning for this code is that, so uh, the total size of my EC2 instance, that is the secondary storage device is 20. It will accept the 200 input and output request. Okay, that is the meaning. And it will create one T2.T micro instance with the image ID as Linux. Okay, where we have mentioned the key name also. 
So you have to save this file with the extension as dot ym. Okay, so I just make it as sample dot ym. Yeah. So this is our template yml file dot ym or ym. Save it. Okay, so that's all. So you just go to your uh, uh, desktop now and check it whether uh, uh, the things were in yml file or not. Go to properties it's in yml file nothing issue okay so just to go to your uh, ec2 panel now go to cloud formation okay now we have the template is ready okay you no need to select the sample template now the template is ready and you can upload the template file okay choose the template file now go to the text row so select the text template sample.yml so what happens is even though you are uploading through local desktop, what happens is all the YML should be saved in S3 bucket. Okay, even though you are not creating the S3 bucket, it itself create one S3 bucket and it will store your information. Okay, so that's a if you want to design, if you want to view, uh, if you want to view whether uh, uh, that file dot YML file and their uh, uh, formatting is correct or not you have to click on this view in this designer because i'm not going to do this because i have done perfectly so you can click next you can give some stack name the stack name is uh, can make this yam1 stack yam1 machine or machine one not machine machine one okay click next you can give uh, the tag name so here the tag name is name. OK. So actually this is your machine name. OK, so that is the previous one. What, what we what I have shown us. It's a stack name. You can view the stack and make the stack one. So here the tag name is it is a machine name. So their uh, uh, values. The value should be like. Machine. OK, so that's all. So actually, if it is machine one, you can check it in easy to dashboard with the name machine one easy to machine is created. Right? Okay, you no need to go with any IAM role here. You can accept default configuration that will to change. Click next. Okay, you can view all the things and create a stack. Okay, so now stack initialization is processed. User initiator, you just refresh, you can able to see what happens in the dashboard you can check it out okay so that's all so we have done all the configuration you can verify the same just to go to your ec2 panel go to instances okay now what happens is now instances start executing okay now it is in pending state so it will be moved to uh, so that the two class to check passed also as well as the status should be moved from pending to pending state OK, you just refresh here or you can able to refresh here. OK, you can able to see the status message changes of changes in the status reflected in the status region recent section. OK, just to re refresh. You can able to feel the difference here. So now instant state is moving to a value. You can able to see the same in here also. That's all. The create is successfully done. So we have created the EC2 instance without following the manual seven steps. Okay, so that status also to be updated here as running. Very soon you will the status also to be moved from uh, initialization to two plus two checks passed. Okay, so that's how we successfully launched our EC2 machine without following the manual seven steps. Thank you all.